Hello everybody. Okay, so we've got another CNC job to do. So we did a 3D design. Mark did a 3D design in CAD, the CAD software. And this is what it came out like. So this is, uh, as you open the back doors of the van, this is going to be right at the back of the bed, sort of underneath the bed. And all the electrics are going to be mounted here, as you can see from the 3D mock-up we've done. So we've got a load of parts here. Natalie's bringing all the parts over. We've got a big inverter, a couple of DC chargers, MPPT, the usual bits and pieces. Let's get it up there somewhere. Really quickly. How do we do this again? Oh, these are just fine, aren't they? How much soda's going on this? Do we know? 12 volt. Fuse box. Wait, do we want that? Like that? Perfectly, because we measured, you measured it the other day for Mark's design. Ooh, shunt. Battery monitor. Massively essential in, a, in any build. Which one is which? Two system. Uh, 30 amp MPPT for the two panels will fit in. Isolation switch, be able to kill the power if you need to work on the system or if there's an emergency, then that's what we fit. This big unit here is an inverter charger. It's a uh, 3000 or 3 kVA, it's about 1900, 1800 watts. No, sorry, 2800 watts, roughly, something like that. So this will run an aircon unit, for, depending on your batteries, aircon unit, induction hubs, air fryers, microwaves, anything like that. Off of batteries, it also has a mains charger for it charges your electric batteries when you're hooked up to campsites or at home. It's got like a trickle charger in there as well, so it looks after your starter battery. Just gonna fit it all to the board, measure a thousand times, measure it, fit it all to the board, then we can stand the board up and start wiring it up. Customer arrives here in two days for this. So this has to be ready and all wired up before he gets here, and then that limits the time the customer has to come spend at the unit with us. Let's just do that now. So we're getting there, we've got a 240 consumer unit, which is going to be mounted here. It's looking pretty, isn't it? Because um, we fit the isolators onto the power ends, they raise up off the floor. So yeah, I asked them to make one of these as well so they can go underneath the switch, just to kind of finish it up a bit nicer. Everything's mounted to the board almost, just that. Then we can start wiring it up. I've got some fans to go on the back of these. So we'll do that probably tomorrow. <laughs> uh, we've had to get a little bit creative here with a ratchet strap, a stool. I want to be able to get around it in all directions so I can put some trunk in at the back and do all the wiring and some fans to go on. So I want to be able to walk all the way around it. I think we're going to build something dedicated uh, bench for this, so the right height, which also hinges up um, eventually. But yeah, this ratchet strap's holding it to the rafter. So uh, yeah, now I can start wiring it up. Added a battery protect as well uh, for the load, so that will switch off the fuse box via a switch on on this port, on the remote port. So yeah, it will also protect the battery for low voltage cutout. It will cut out the load, the drain, if the battery gets too low. Uh, I used to also, yeah, I'm going to run a, just to put a toggle switch on that so that the customer can switch off his uh, whole load if he wants to. Alright, let's start wiring it up.
Welcome back to Blue Fix. It's a really miserable weather today, but this is the van this, that board's going in. It's a VW Crafter. Oh, water on the lens. It's going to go against here. I'm going to raise it off this board slightly so that it can draw air. Those fans that we've got on it can draw air through. Cool those Orions down. He's got his cables down here all labelled up. For instance, fridge, max fan, etc. We'll just try and figure out a location for the battery to sit. It was going to go there, but I don't think it's going to fit there now. This is what he's been building so far. Got some solar panels going on the roof. We've got some mountain to these roof bars, nuts and bolts, and some alley angle probably. The boys are just figuring out. Making plans for the job. Yeah. 